Hi everyone, welcome back to another empties video. I haven't done an empties video for so long and like I think the very first video I ever done on YouTube was an empties video as well. So it's crazy because obviously with empties it, you don't just, you never really get to the end of a product which is crazy. So it just ends up being a little stack that I keep off throughout the year and I just keep adding and adding to it. So on my desk there's like about 15 products give or take. Also guys can you believe I'm back to practically being a brunette like I'm just it's crazy but I do think if I was ginger I don't think I could pull this colour off though so maybe it's got its pros and cons but don't worry I will be going back to ginger. But yeah let's just jump straight into the video. So yeah empty so I've got two cleansers some toners, some moisturisers, and then lip balm. Okay, let's just get comfy. It's gonna be a long one, guys. Let's start off with cleansers. So we've got my favourite. These are liqueurs. These are the hot clock cleansers, which I just became obsessed with. The four ninety nine, no three ninety nine. Sorry, they are the other dupe for Lizel. I just love it. It really leaves my skin so gorgeous. It's it's such a it's a it's a thicker I would say it is thicker it is a thicker cream and, and consistency compared to Liz Ailes, but I do actually prefer it I feel like it's just a little bit more luxurious a little bit more gentle on the skin I really do love it so yeah it's four pound three ninety nine four pounds vegan free as well and it just oh, I love it so much it does come with the cloth the cloth's like cardboard I wouldn't recommend it I just use my own flannel but literally three ninety nine I've gone through so many of these and I keep having to like squeeze some out. Yeah, it's crazy. So I'm literally obsessed with those. So, and I've got another one as well. I think I've already gone through a few. These were both an empties. Coming on to another cleanser. This is from Pixie. This is the Double Cleanse with Caroline Hydens. I've gone through two of these, I think, as well. And obviously completely empty. And if, it, if you've seen it before, it's got the two compartment, like the double segments. One side, if it is it. One side of it is like your oil balm, which you would like for your first cleanse, remove your makeup, and then in the other side is the cream cleanser, which you would use for your second cleanse. These are this is really ideal actually if you're someone who's maybe a little bit overwhelmed by the whole like double cleansing thing, or you're not really sure on what cleanse is best. Get something like this. This is the Caroline Highlands, as I say, and it's so straightforward. Literally one and two. So you do your first cleanse oil, your second cle second cleanse cream, and it's just it's. It's there, it's done, it's everything in one type of thing. It's perfect for if you're on the go as well. Like it just I just think it's such a good idea to have the two components in the one tub. So I really did love that. That's about £24, I think, aimed Caroline Hirons. But yeah, love that. Still a game with a makeup remover. Oh my god, this is absolutely fabulous. This was nine pounds as well in boots. I got it in Covent Garden and I it was a little mini and I thought I needed. So it is Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Again, an absolute gorgeous balm cleanser that you need. This was, as I say, £9. I picked it up in boots in the little mini sections. But it's just... It's just so fab. It really is. It does come in the larger size. The larger size is about £22. Oh my God. It's just the most perfect consistency consistency this is similar to the body shop the chamomile butter again similar consistencies and texture i can't even show you because it's literally empty but yeah all i like to do when i'm taking off my makeup i will always start with my eyes first just because i don't like to have mascara running down my face so i'll start with my eyes first and then work it into my skin and it just lifts everything even like stubborn mascara it just lifts it and for nine pounds if you wanted to try it i'd try it first you will love it and then you can get the bigger size for 22 pounds but for nine pounds oh my god and if you know if you don't wear makeup a lot which believe it or not i don't actually wear makeup a lot the only the only time i wear makeup is to film and it's crazy obviously when i get um undressed later on i'll use well i won't use this but this is something i would use I'll tell, today i'll use the uh, camera butter from the body shop but just such a fabulous product for nine pounds as well i always say that if you're someone say if you see a new product out and it's like 30 40 pounds or whatever it may be and you don't have it i always say try and try and see if they've got a travel size obviously the travel size is naturally going to be cheaper anyway but always just see because that, that that way you'll know whether you like it or not i always say that for pixie glow tonic when a lot of people message me asking me for an acidic toner i straight away say pixie glow tonic but i always do say if you want to get the smaller size which is i think 100 mil which is a tenner obviously if that works better for you then you do that you don't have to buy the full size just because it's the full size 
always see the smaller size like the travel sizes and it's just going to be cheaper as well for you in the long run if obviously you did decide to keep it or whatever but yeah so always check out for minis travel sizes things like that i love anything like that then coming on to still on the face this oh my god this is the most amazing lip balm but it is so expensive it is la Mer's lip balm oh it's so gorgeous it's like the famous um la Mer smell it's got that eucalyptusy pepperminty fragrance that you'll that you know what i'm on about and you put it on your lips and your lips actually tingle but it is it is expensive it's like 50 pounds just for the lip balm i think i got this as a present um but yeah it is gorgeous and i use this this is how long i've been collecting empties for because i used this a while back like finished it like last year finished it and i was just like putting bits away so yeah, this has literally been a while, but oh, this is such a gorgeous bar, eh, a lip balm. Don't get me wrong, I'm obviously not going to recommend to go out and spend £50, £60 pounds on a lip balm, but if you can get a sample of it. Every time Dick and Addy are again going past in the lorry, oh my god, this drives me mad, this road. And the winds are short, I don't know what more I can physically do, but anyway. Yeah, so that's the Le Mer lip balm, fabulous. Now coming on to acetones, one of my fave, fave products is an acidic toner. Oh, I just get all excited what it does to your skin. So let's talk about the famous one, which I'm sure you all know. There is a tiny little bit left in this one, but I'll, I'll be using that later, so it doesn't count. Um, but these are the Cura Healthy Glow. I've literally got bottles of bottles of bottles of this. I When this first came out, it, like, it flew off the shelves like gold dust, literally. And then when it came back in, I literally stopped up i got like 10 bottles of it because i thought this was this was year, about a year year ago now and i literally just thought like no this is my toner like i can't let, let this go so i've literally in that door got like so so many of them but, and they've even changed the packaging now as well to like a rose gold color but these are just so fab when it comes to the duped aldi sometimes they get it wrong but sometimes i i do believe they get it right and in terms of getting it right these two products definitely were winners um but yeah, to the pixie one, it is the Dupe the Pixie. I personally do feel they are very, very similar, if not probably the same. I just think they work the same on the skin. They everything just to the point where I even when I first got the cure, I put I closed my eyes and put it over my face to see if the smell or anything, and even everything down to the smell, it just smelled the same. I think the pHs are. Let me just double check. Actually, let's do a little bit of science while we're here. Okay, so it says it's around a four or a five for glow tonic. Let me see if I can get up Aldi's version. I have done this before, I'm sure I have, when I compared the two. Yeah, it says the same. And it says they are both the dupe. I'm just going off trying the two products. I personally do believe this is so, so similar to Pixies. They both do the same job. And this is a fraction of price. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Pixie as a brand. I would still... Have you ever heard anything like that? I would live. <laughs> oh, oh my god, never did not like in life. I would still obviously use Pixie. I love Pixie as a whole, but in terms of the toner, I just these are just great for me. And they're a, they're a fraction of the price, they work for me, so I'm gonna stick to these. But yeah, amazing. And then next up is another absolute favourite, which I think even outdid um, Glow Tonic or Healthy Glow, and it is from Earl Henriksen, and it's the Dark Spot. Dark Spot, it's a dark, Glow 20H Dark Spot Toner. I used this last summer, and I literally was just so impressed by it. I love it, everything from down to the tingle and everything else it gives you. Oh, I forgot to say, they are glycolic acid as well, sorry. This is a glycolic acid as well, and it's got a little bit of citric in it, so you get that lemony, lemony zesty smell, and it's just, it's amazing. So basically what a glycolic acid will do, for anyone who doesn't understand glycolic or knows what it does, it's such an amazing ingredient that literally gets rid of any dead skin cells left on the surface of the skin. So if you imagine your skin like this, obviously throughout the day, throughout the weeks, naturally dead skin cells, will be removed obviously because your skin's every day is changing so the dense the dead skin cells then sit on the surface of the skin now if you're not exfoliating on if you're not exfoliating it'll just build up it can obviously make your appearance not be as brighter your complexion you want a nice radiant complexion by exfoliating and getting rid of all that dead skin cells you 
it's fresh gorgeous skin so i couldn't recommend the glycolic acids enough i personally i'm not a huge fan of physical exfoliation i just find it a little bit too harsh on my skin hence why i'm obsessed with the glycolic acids or the lactic acids whatever it may be it is an aha acid though and ahas as i say are brilliant for just getting exfoliating the safe the surface of the skin and getting rid of all dead skin cells and it just overall makes your skin glow as i've mentioned so many times i had never ever seen a change in my skin as to when i introduced the glycolic acid into my routine game changer so if i had to recommend one product mm, oh no actually okay yeah if i kind of i could re recommend one skincare product be a glycolic acid but then I'll, i love a cleanser and then i love a vitamin c then i love hyaluronic oh you get me you get me just anyway but yeah glycolic acid is such a great ingredient to have if you are sensitive as well look for something with lactic in lactic is a little bit more gentler lactic has made up a larger molecule compared to glycolic so the lactic acid isn't as harsh as glycolic glycolic's not harsh but you will get that tingle which i absolutely love and this set definitely 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 gave me the tingle as i say it's got the lemon zest in it as well so you get the oh the gorgeousness when you are using the glycolic acids always just follow it up with the spf as well because it can cause some sensitivities to the skin um i've always been fine but obviously always just ensure that you are following up essentially anyway with an spf this is about 22 pounds i first saw it when jamie genevieve was talking about it jamie genevieve's got amazing skin she was talking about it what on one of her videos a while back i got it and it was this is like my second or third bottle i've gone through such a fabulous product and i know they do the range i think it's the balance me range which is for like an oily combination skin type this is i think just for like normal to dry but oh, wow this was a really wow skincare was definitely approved this really was a wow product i loved it now another wow another wow product um, again another glycolic acid as i say i am obsessed with glycolic acids and this is just a mini size i got it in a pack this is alpha h's liquid gold if you do not know liquid golds you need some liquid golds in your life this really does give you the tingle you can get it in the large bottle as well which is liquid gold and then you can get the liquid rose gold as well which i used to have i personally just prefer liquid gold because i just feel like it's a little bit more intense and a little bit more stronger again you would apply this after cleansing you could do it am am or pm liquid gold i would say for pm because as I say, it is a little bit more strong with liquid gold, so I wouldn't put that mainly on of a day. I would concentrate more of your acids of an evening. I still do wear like the likes of this every day, but the likes of liquid gold I would use of an evening because it is that little bit stronger. But it's, oh my God, it's fabulous. It's from Alpha H as well, which is an amazing skincare brand in general. So definitely check them out. And as I say, this was a travel size as well. So if you did want to um, pay just a full size, full size is about 35, I think. And then this was in a set. I, I can't remember what this was in a set with. I think it was like an SPF set. Um, but yeah, I don't think that was as expensive. But yeah, definitely check it out. I would definitely check out the glycolic acid. I would say if you're a more mature skin type, I would say go for this one. But I give this to my mum and obviously my mum's a more a mature skin type. I use this. But I would say maybe a little bit more mature. Maybe this or this. But oh, I, just, I just can't decide. For I would say... I'd say my favourite one of the day is this so far. Well, I've always loved this, but I'm just loving this lately. And then this for the night. So gorgeous. Okay, now coming on to how many more products have we got left? Oh, we've got four products left. And one's body care and three are face cream. So let's, let's do body care then. Obviously. <laughs> so this is Dove, the cashmere comfort, which I've been talking about for the last however long and it's just basically a gorgeous body moisturizer which i've mentioned before it's from home and bargain what the hell is wrong with me it's from home and bargain i think it's about two pounds um but it's just as i say a gorgeous it's nice smelling body lotion that works great on the skin it just i get out the shower a new woman i get out the shower a new woman and it's just oh, I come out the bathroom like J-Lo, I've told you all this before, I come out that bathroom, J-Lo, cup of tea in my hands, world is my oyster. But yeah, I do love that one. And then lastly is three moisturisers, which I've been loving. So the first one is from Touch and Sol. Me best friend Perry, he kindly got me this for my birthday, I think it was last year. I used it all up like it was gone instantly i think it is a korean brand actually guys we need to talk korean like i'm just so so fascinated by korean skincare like it really does blow my socks off korean skin wow i have never ever ever seen 
skin like it like their skin is literally like glass but i want to go to south korea i am so intrigued to go to south korea i know i want to go into like if they do like a debenhams or a self just like a, a department store like like a beauty department store i don't know if they do that if anyone knows let me know or if anyone knows of any amazing korean brands let me know as i say touch and salt i think is korean um yeah i am literally i can't believe you know you're actually like so blown away and like really intrigued by something so i do, i would i would actually that's on my bucket list i do want to go to south korea and just look at all like the skincare the beauty because if you look if you look at a, a korean skincare routine it's like 10 steps they do things a little bit differently to what i would tend to do like they sometimes i've seen koreans put face masks on last to lock everything in I've never done that before but saying that after watching these documentaries like over the whole of lockdown i've been so intrigued by it i have been looking into korean skincare more and i did actually try doing it a little bit backwards because i thought i'll just see whatever happens like i'm not going anywhere if me if my face mask, face mask goes to pass like i'm only in the house not a problem and i've done all my skincare and then put the mask on and it actually felt really nice you know so i'm definitely definitely going to be looking into more korean skincare if anyone knows of anything i know dr joss is a main korean brand again fabulous products but if anyone knows anything about like um korean skincare or products you would recommend please let me know because i am so intrigued by the by korea in general enough of korea anyway back to salt they uh, touch and sell but yeah gorgeous moisturizer super lightweight actually as well there's literally not even in this now oh it smells amazing it's called pretty filter it literally blares your face gorgeous this is from selfridges i think they're about like 35 ish but it's called waterfall glow cream and it really, actually it is cream because i remember thinking oh my god my skin looks like glass so yeah gorgeous moisturizer as well then we come then coming on to Clarins, this is their reboost. This was part of the Cla the Caroline Hydens and my Clarins range. I don't know if that'll focus or not. There you go. So yeah, this was just a gel moisturizer. I didn't repurchase this because I fell more in love with the sleep mask, which is the similar one, but it's the teal lid and it's for during the evening. And this I did like it, but I just fell more in love with the sleep mask so i don't think i will be the purchase in this one but i do like the range in general i love the sleep mask it's fab so yeah they're about 22 pounds let me see if i have actually got the sleep mask ha ha this is it and i've actually just picked up a little dr jar to show you this is dr jar he's a korean brand wow is it ceramides and if anyone knows ceramides and the good gear literally um but yeah so these are the two products I've repurchased this twice now because this is just fabulous. But yeah, just for this one, I don't think I will um, be repurchasing it. I just prefer this one more, but anyway. And then last up, is that the end of it all? Yeah. Last up is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the, is it the theme? Oh, Water Drench Hyaluronic Acid Moisturiser. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous like i think i want to get the full size of it and it's clinical skincare as well so peter thomas roth skincare was definitely approved such a fabulous moisturizer like probably this and oh jacob's youth quake that's another fab moisturizer this alongside clinique moisture surge as well all like similar consistencies but this is just this is like something i've never seen before when you when you work the product into your face it literally is like it's like satin it's oh my god it's the most craziest fabulous moisturizer and i got it for my birthday one of my best friends she got me in in a little gift set with this and a cleanser as well i wasn't too fussed on the cleanser the cleanser just made me feel a little bit more dry which was crazy considering it's hyaluronic acid it was weird but this moisturizer the moisturizer is the most let me see if i can show you it i used to like try and only use little tiny bits because there was nothing left and there's literally nothing left <laughs> but if you can get a sample of peter thomas roth this moisturizer oh my god it's so so fab these two products are just amazing that's not empty though that's that's full not long bought that let me know if anyone's tried it peter thomas roth he's got so many ranges as well this is the first time i've tried anything from the brand and i've come so impressed with the the cloud cream oh yeah it's called cloud cloud cream hydrating moisturizer so yeah, I am so impressed with the range, with this range anyway. Do love that. But yeah, that was all. I hope you've all enjoyed me empties. I probably won't have another empties now till 
2022 by the rate this is going but yeah i hope you've all enjoyed it let me know um, if you want to see any other videos as well but i hope you're all enjoying lockdown anyway stay safe and i'll see you on my next video bye